Hello, everybody. I'm back. As you uh, may be able to tell, I got something a little special. I got a mic. I, I got a microphone. It's kind of weird, because I can somewhat hear myself talk, or at least I'm. it sounds like I'm talking louder to myself. I don't know. It's it, it's a weird feeling. It's a it's a it's a very weird feeling to be sure. Anyways, though, we're here to play Doki Doki. Uh, <laughs> I know the game. I've seen it before. Uh, I'm ready to play it overall, though. I I feel like it's going to be a little rough because I gotta listen to myself do these voices. I gotta listen to myself do them. I can't even watch my own video, but I can hear like a somewhat of feedback to me. Anyways, I should just stop trying to rant here. Let's, let's switch over to it, shall we? Should pop up any second. Hello there, Advic. I got a microphone. Ah, oh, Jesus. I don't know why I do this to myself. Let me unmute the game on you as well. That'd be a smart decision. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully that's good. I don't know. But yeah, we're playing Doki Doki today. Thank you for the follow, Lunar IPv4. If uh, game audio's a bit too loud or mic's a bit too loud or something, just tell me. It's a new mic. I'd be happy for the. Uh, I'd be very thankful for the uh, feedback on it. Okay. Okay, sound good? That's good. As usual, I'll try to voice them. Uh, what kind of mic? One second. JLab talk, go microphone. It's a JLab? I don't know. It was like 50 bucks, same as the snowball. I didn't want to get the snowball though, I think they look ugly, personally. Anyways, I will be trying to voice the characters. Uh, I'm gonna cringe, cause I can like somewhat hear myself talk a bit more, like louder. But I, I certainly will try to voice them, like I do for most games that I play that have characters. Yuri, I think, could be easy. Natsuki, Monica, and Sayuri, I have no clue. I have, I, I really don't know how it'll turn out, but I'll try it. All I have in my mind, uh, I don't, uh, what's his name? I don't remember his name. Is it? I don't remember. I don't remember his name, but he was like one of the voices for the characters with, uh, Noble. While he was playing Nekopara. With, uh, Iron Mouse, him, and the other guy that I don't remember the name of. And all I can remember is his damn Toad Vanilla voice going into this, so, yeah. Let's just start. Just gonna enter it as Enzo. Enzo as usual.
Was it like that? I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. I have no clue if it was like that. I have no clue how to voice them. Hey. Immediately, it's 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 annoying. It's annoying, girl. It's not any other ad. It's not just girl. It's annoying, girl. I, I like. I I just want to point that out. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Sounds right. <laughs> but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. This is harsh, Jesus. It's been like how long since who like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, like, all those big YouTubers like recorded this? So I have not watched anything on this for so long. <laughs> he kind of does. Uh, while well, I remember, I should put the TW command in chat. Hopefully it works. That's copied directly from the doki doki dot moe uh, forward slash warning dot html page. So thanks for them to putting like most of that together. Yeah. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Yes, it is. It's a horror game. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that just because I'm scared how it's gonna come out. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. That sounds so weird. Maybe. But only because I dis- Oh, that's me talking. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Enzo. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. That's just harsh. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't... I guess you don't have... Have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we drew near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. And by the way, Enzo, have you decided on a club to join yet? I've, I feel like I'm changing the voice so often, but that's because I'm trying to get something I like for the voice. A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm just gonna be honest, that sounds like me in real life. That totally sounds like me in real life. Yo, dude, what club are you joining? Uh... None? But you said you would join one. 
Uh, I'll just walk away from that conversation. <laughs> Anyways, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Oh, thank God. So Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average. Content just getting by on the average. What? While spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> Yo, why is she literally describing me in real life? <laughs> literally describing me in real life. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. <laughs> why do- why does every- why do they sound so harsh? Like, my character's harsh, she's just being, like, completely harsh as well. Just, I don't want you to become a neat. Jesus. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs, if that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least... Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Yeesh. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Excuse me. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori so wanted me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I swear to god this game knows me exactly when I went into high school. First club I looked for was the anime club, which I actually found out disbanded that year because the uh, leader, like the club president, actually graduated the year before, so there was no more club anymore. And I wasn't ready just to take over or make the club technically. So yeah, just never came to fruition. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? I'm just psychic. You know what? 
Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Flat rejected. Oh my god. Just flat out rejected. Eh. Nini. Sayori was the vice president of the literature club. I'm surprised you already know that. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Okay then. Since she was the first one to show interest after all, the one who proposed the club, since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you even care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Yeah, you give that sideways glance. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. To be honest, I completely doubt that it was planned. I, I don't trust her to have planned anything. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Ah, a great tradition. Stop by, steal some food, and dip. Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. What am I doing with my life? I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Why'd the music stop all of a sudden? This is very weird. I don't like it. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I want to hear the sound effect of that, please. There was no sound effect. I'm highly disappointed. Everyone, the new member's here. I told you, don't call me... Oh, sorry. I told you. Don't call me a new member. Eh. I glance around the room. All right. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori's always saying nice things about you. Why is she talking about me? We don't even walk to school together anymore. What the hell? Oh god, what voice? This is another one that I, I thought I'd struggle with, and I definitely am. Seriously? You brought a boy? I don't know. Oh God, I don't know how to voice this character. I don't, I don't know how to voice Natsuki. You'd be easier. Natsuki, not, not especially. 
way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Enzo. What a nice surprise. Yo, how do you already know my name? Only the other two didn't call me by name, but you do. Excuse me? Or wait. No, she called me new member, so they wouldn't know my name, would they? I don't know. Welcome to the club! Three dots. All words escape me in this situation. Of course they do. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls, of course. This won't be a visual novel without it. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, just say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Hm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly in my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? No, I don't. How, do, how does she know my name? You mind explaining? Okay, apparent, apparently do. That's right. It's great to see you again, Enzo. I've literally never seen you a day in my life. I have no clue what you're talking about. Have you taken something before we met today? Monica smiles sweetly. That looks like pressure to me. Oh, apparently we do know each other. We do we do know each other. Well, we rarely We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Okay. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic? Ah, sounds like any trope. I mean, all of these girls are supposed to be tropes, but besides the point. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely, genuinely feels a little... E you too, Monica. Come, sit down, Enzo. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Do I get the choice? <laughs> I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. I seriously have no. Uh, I seriously have no clue how to voice her still. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a warm tray. Uh, 
sorry, a wrapped tray. And Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward? I take a seat next to Sayori. I think that should have been a choice, just saying. What if I don't want to sit next to Sayori? Anyways. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! I'm not, I'm just not gonna do half the sound effects because I don't trust myself to do them. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Why cats? I mean, I have no problem with cats, but just a question. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Makes sense. So cute. I don't know if that was a voice crack or I went from like the bottom of my range to somewhere in the top in like a second because it didn't feel like a voice crack. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. Alright, I don't know if you heard that or not. It, it's supposed to auto-mute when I click the button, but I have no clue if it actually did. If, I, if anyone's out there and can say if it did mute, that'd be great. I had no clue you were go so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the... F one first, then Monica. I follow. It's so uh, delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face, of course. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. I don't personally do this, but I, I know a lot of people like look for a good bite to take in like stuff like a cake or something. I don't personally understand. Just take a bite. I'll just post it the TW just in case. There is a TW for this game. I know it came out quite a while ago. I would say the date, but I don't remember the date. I didn't know it in the first place. But yeah. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is very good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Classic Sundere? You know? I haven't heard... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? In anime? I mean, I don't know anyone in... I don't know anyone who, in real life who really acts like this, so I, I would imagine it's from anime, my guy. Made them for you or anything? Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe, but not for y you know, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Yeah, don't you know every anime does that? I mean, just look at Kan. Half the time, they're just sitting around a table drinking tea, not even playing an instrument. Still love the anime, though. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I mean, the only types of book I read are manga, so... And I don't drink tea, so... Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Damn! I think that's a call out. I think that's a call out. <laughs> just saying. Eh? <laughs> that, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. Exactly my point. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. This is like quiet girl stereotype and I know that like the, most of them have stereotypes because Yuri's not a ku daddy I don't know what dairy type she would be classified as actually because Sayori is easily Sayori's daddy daddy that's that's easy to see Natsuki is a sundere I mean Yuri's not like a I don't know she's not a ku daddy she's not really a yan daddy I, I don't know. This is something... It's gonna bother me if I don't... One second. Let's just look this up real quick, eh? Let's just look it up. Dandere. The dandere type refers to a character who is often silent and keeps to themselves. Okay, good to know. She's she's definitely more of the dandere type. Those are three types down. <laughs> what when, when when's the yandere come to the game, eh? Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Sayori basically forcing me into it. And cupcakes. Um. I was afraid of that question. Of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure to... We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everybody. I feel like the music pick like the music increased in volume. By the way, I know this background I, I believe this background song's the ending theme, your reality, which is just such an amazing song, I 
If you've ever watched any of my O streams, you would know that I've played it quite a few times. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. There's politics and clubs since when? All the all of the clubs I used to be in in like middle school were not like like whatever. I'm I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I'm not gonna go on a rant here. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and public and publicity and how to prepare for events. Okay. Now, I don't think that's really an American thing. Like, since when does a... I've never heard of a club getting, like, an actual budget except for a student council. Only thing I've heard getting a budget before. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I feel like I'm giving her a bit of here, which is, which isn't good. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You... You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Literally me when the anime club was disbanded. The year before I went into high school. I was not ready to put in the effort to start it up again. And no one else, no one else was as well. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Excuse me. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. I'm like trying not to cringe at myself doing these voices, but I'm fully committed to doing them all the way through no matter what. So... I'll just have to deal with the cringe that I'm placing upon my soul. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delightful by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Enzo, what kinds of things do you like to read? Manga. Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. You don't read... <laughs> Actually, that makes complete sense. A lot of people who watch anime aren't into anime light novels. I personally am. I have, like, way too much anime and light novels. Uh. Manga. I mutter to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. 
Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yiddy? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Those are actually very fun. Yeah, I, I would say that's pretty good. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Psycho- I'm a fan of horror, kind of. Psychological thrillers are fun. I don't know. I, I mainly read manga, but not really like actual novels. Of course, I read a few, but eh, you know. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for, through a loop? Throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yo. I may not like those horror video games, but horror novels and stuff? Yeah, horror manga especially. Ooh, dang. Jinji Ito collection? I think that's kind of famous. That's like more of a famous one, but it's good. They're all they're all really they're all pretty good, you know? I remember watching the anime to Jinji Ito. That was that was just great. Ah, I read a horror book once. I I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. I definitely can, but... Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eye dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Oh, sorry, that was yours, voice. You left a piece of scrap paper behind... Behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes. Your poems. Let me try that again. <laughs> your cupcakes. And your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Ah, okay. Sayori, Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, 
You write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very, not a very confident writer yet. I understand. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your own heart. <laughs> I should have taken a break in that sentence. I don't think I stopped for that comma. That's probably why. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Question mark. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. You know when you have a conversation about not wanting to share your writing and then someone and then the club leader says I have an idea? That's when you know you're in trouble. <laughs> that that's when you know you're in deep trouble. Sorry, I'm just gonna take another drink. I th I think it's uh Natsuki's voice or Yuri's voice that's killing me. One of the two. Alright, there we go. Still, I have no idea if that mutes or not. <laughs> Someone could tell me, that'd be great. Because I have no clue if it actually muted me or if you could hear the cap twisting. Because I could hear it in my headphones, but I don't know if it mutes it on OBS or not. So, who knows. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everybody is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Enzo? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Oh boy, we're about to drop a bombshell right now. I never said I would join this club. Sierra may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All death stares c come at you in a moment's notice. Ready to pounce and kill you the moment you say you don't want to join. I lose my train of thought. All, for, all four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... And so, you all, I'm defenseless against these, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That's, that is, if I'm writing poems, 
Is this the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with you? Of course. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy. Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Let go of me. H hey. You really did scare me there for a moment. I read that wrong, but I'm just going to continue. You really just came for the cupcakes. I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everybody. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. I'm saving right here. Because I think it's going to go into the poem game. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem. Whoa. Write a poem. Write a poem. Write a... Excuse me. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting. So we all... So we can all share. Oh, jeez. Monica looks over at me once more. Enzo. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> e yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? That's a very good question. I hate. Well, I don't hate writing. I hate. Sp I hate talking in front of people. Like, reading my writing in front of people. That's what I hate the most. Like, I love to write, and I can really get into writing, but I hate, I hate going up and, like, reading it. Kills me inside. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Enzo. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Who knows? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Let's do it. Okay, so before we even started, I decided who I'm going to go for first. And I will go for all of them in the end. I will. But I'm going to start off with Yuri. Just because I want to. Deal with it. Next will probably be Natsuki, then Sayori, then Monica. And yes, I know I, I know you can do Monica, even though she's not over here. Just 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 because I well I I've, I've watched media, but this game came out so long ago. So I, I, I know some of the stuff for this game. Horror. Vertigo. <laughs> Why is Hopeless Sayori? What? Incongruent after image? Imagination.
contamination. Okay, we're good in this. <laughs> doki doki. How much you want to bet? That's probably either Natsuki or Monica. Starscape. Death. Extreme. Wh why? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Massacre. Uh, gonna say misfortune. No, it it's a uh, oh god. Philosophy has beauty. Yeah. Ambient. Lucky and capable, shiny, hurt, destiny, summer, sadness, strawberry dance. I don't know. Okay. I, I thought, but you know, I, I didn't know that one. Defeat. No? Meager, nature, pure, sugar, pleasure, and... Oh, come on. This has to be... I don't even know what that means. Heat, some food, insight, essence, poof, hair, empty, heaven scent. Under. Oh, come on. I just want Yuri. Get out, get out, get out of here, Sayori. I think most of them have been Yuri though, so it'll probably be good anyway. Captive is Yuri. Okay. Variants. Intellectual. Yeah. Tragedy. I think that. That has to be Yuri, because that's kind of like a genre. What? Oh, come on. Analysis. Yeah. That's how you do it. Hi again, Enzo. I'm glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> oh, that's menacing. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Enzo. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Ah! I hit my table. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack. See, you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan just to come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Yo, where's it at? Mm, mm, mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. A very hard predicament. Manga is literature. I would agree. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Enzo always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> Want to know that story? <laughs> That's too good. You, I help you clean your room because you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with that little comment. Is that so? <laughs> you two really are good friends, aren't? Sorry. You two really are good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? 
You and Enzo can become good friends too. Uh, um. S Sayori. Mm hmm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh boy, that's what I love, being put into uncomfortable situations by people I know. How many times has that happened to you? Uh, oh, you even brought you something today, you know? What? Yo, let's do it! W wait Sayori... Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh. I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Good going, Sayori, you ruined it. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Ooh, what type of book? I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. This... Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's a visual novel, that's why. I mean, only... I'm not gonna say anything because I don't know if you guys have actually seen any plays on this game. I don't know how old you guys are. <laughs> I actually want to look up something real quick. Let's look this up real quick. Let, let, let's just look this up real quick. Four years ago. Four years ago. A whole four years ago was when Markiplier played it. But when did it... Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Can you believe it? Twenty seventeen. <laughs> That's a whole four years ago. Anyways. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, it feels so long ago. It feels so long ago. I was like 12 back then. I remember watching it. That was fun. That's what. That's when I wasn't even in the city I'm currently living in. That was before I lived in the city. She... She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Yes, I definitely will. I enthusiastically take the book. Feel. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everybody's se everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. 
I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. She was waiting for this chance. I think I get to choose who to go by at this point. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rumma rummaging around in the closet. Or her manga is, probably. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. Looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems, seems to be on the first few pages. Uh... Oh, I don't get a choice. That's fine. Whatever. Crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. And then there was a marriage. <laughs> I'm joking. I have- I have- my humor always falls flat. I don't have any sense of humor. I am just dead inside. I can't make a joke for the life of me. Three dots. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. S sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. I was focused, then I probably would have noticed it in the first place. If I, if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But... I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. That's the book he gave to me, right? Mm hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Don't ask questions. Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I think you already know what that is, bud. I'll definitely start reading it soon. How about start reading it now? Yo! It's a read along. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and re relatable story. I'm gonna take another drink. I think it's Yuri's voice that's killing me so bad. I don't think Natsuki is so bad. I think it's Yuri's. One second. I'll mute my OBS this time.
All right, I'm really sorry about that. I, had, I I decided to get up and walk around a bit just because I've been sitting for like the past hour and 16 minutes reading. <laughs> uh, I've been having a good time though, so it's all fine. It's, it's all good, it's all good. But I, but to comment on what she said earlier, I am definitely the type to, if I, like, once the story or plot or whatever picks up, I'm the type to just read it through. Like, I will just read that. I'm definitely that type. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well... Mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. And there's an ominous looking... I just realized that's, me, that, that's my conscience talking, not her. The book is called Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right, I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. Definitely a relatable thing moving in with your long lost sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experimentation prison. I see. Definitely very relatable. I, I, I always hate when people from a human experimentation prison start chasing me around my house. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. Now that, <laughs> that is, that's definitely relatable. Choosing who the heck to trust. Oh my god. That is definitely something relatable. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships. And her life starts to fall apart. That's depressing. That, that's definitely depressing. Um... That, that's kind of, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yuri made it, that's my conscience again. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Turning into the Andere, I see, I like that. I'm kidding. Tell me Yuri isn't like a Yandere kind of name though. Are you not a fan of that? Are you not a fan of that sort of- I feel like I'm doing her voice wrong now. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, and so? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy, so enjoy those kinds of stories, I don't- so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories... They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, to just be happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. They suddenly, then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm rambling, aren't I? 
Not again. By the way, I, after this day, I'm probably going to cut it off just so I don't completely kill my voice. As much as I would love to do so, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Uh... I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop me if I stop talking too much. That's... that's... It's very normal if I if I have anything to say about it. It's, it's pretty normal. I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I really don't think you need to worry. That's just that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh, sorry, that's me. I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. This is that epic content he came for, you know? Me doing cringy voice work. Yeah! Uh, y yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Maybe you should look behind you to make sure she isn't staring directly at you with maybe some homicidal tendencies in her mind. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Here he is in the corner of my eye. Oh. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. Seem, seems about right. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Coming out right with it. Absolutely no subtlety with this character, just comes out right with it. Just right with it, huh? Oh. I do? I'll put another, uh, TW command in just in case. Please read that if you, if anyone just joined. 
I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Why do you need to cite that? Because it's a visual novel, of course. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use... So instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I mean, kind of depends on what side you're on. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Okay, so she's to my left. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But holding it like this... We're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. I'm gonna take another drink real quick. I'm sorry to keep taking drink breaks, but her voice just kills mine. One sec. Alright, that feels, that, 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 that's better. My voice, my uh, throat feels a lot better now. Uh, are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Oh, now she's looking at me. She wasn't doing that before. Or at least I don't think she was. Maybe I'm just going in the same but I swear to God, she wasn't looking at me before. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. E yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. That is the weirdest relation I've ever heard. How does that even make sense? Turning a page equals intimate ex- Sorry. Turning a page is just a little, just a little bit less than intimate exchange. Okay, okay, I see, I see your game here. My thumb gently letting go of the page. <laughs> uh, kill me, I don't want to say this, but I am. My thumb gently letting go of the page. Letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Jesus Christ. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... 
the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. This man has no subtlety. Oh my. You, you don't just say that. <laughs> no subtlety at all. Oh my god. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It just keeps getting worse as I go through this. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're... But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Ah, uh, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. Mm, but Enzel... That's probably... A terrible thing to have in common with her. Yeah, it is. That's why you don't usually say things like that. MC. That has my uh, name. Which isn't really my name. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. W wait. You can't recall what you just said. You just made a grave mistake, my guy. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I meant more... I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Salvage what you can, my guy. Salvage what you can. Uh, uh, what are you saying all of, the, all of a sudden? I... Okay, everybody. Everyone. I think it's about time we shared today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we like to wait too long. Uh, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Uh, um... I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little bit more tonight. No! Just no. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. No. Never make a mental note. It will never last. Just get a bookmark or, like, or bend the corner of the page. I, I also do that if I don't have a bookmark handy. Don't just say, oh, I'm on this page. Because you, 9 out of 10, you won't remember that page. Never do that. Please, no. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? E yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. 
Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. We're gonna show it to Yuri, of course. We're, we're going with Yuri on this first go through things. You know? Yuri seems to be the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Sorry about that. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Okay. I... Uh... He's going to hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. <laughs> That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? I should have saved before that selection. Not, I, I, I should have saved before it. But I remember to save now, so we good. Wait. Can't go back. That I know of. <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imaginary metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick on them. Pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter. They form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finished her train of thought, it says, if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone in the sound, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time. But it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. 
Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? P please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. I can feel my throat dying in whatever she says after I read it. Mm hmm. I said it. <sighs> At this point, it's just a fact that my throat's dying now. <laughs> Yuri smiles dreamily, as if she. as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? It's titled, Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate belief beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last one remaining street light to the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe calm calm breathing, air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. <laughs> You're really cute. Yeah, that's that's kind of why I went for her first. I, I like her the most. But I did not expect voicing her to kill my throat this much. I'm going to be honest with that. I did not expect it. Can I flip it? Uh, no. Uh, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. Better than mine. <laughs> Better than my handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. I'm just gonna say it's lucky that I could read cursive. Cause if I couldn't read that, there was no way I was getting that, any of that. I, I can do, but I learned, I learned. But it took you a long time to read. I, I think that's because most people don't know cursive. To be honest, I, I, to be honest here, I think that's because most people don't know cursive nowadays. Most most of my classmates don't know cursive. I'm like one of the few that actually you know it. I, I think I think you're good. That's probably why, man. That's probably why. Ah. Uh, well. I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Uh -huh. That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since our f it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Okay. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually... The story isn't about a ghost at all, Enzo. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. So what you're saying is you blend into the background. 
I swear I hope my character doesn't respond with something along the lines of that. I'll die inside. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. Jesus, that's just dark. You, are you okay? You okay over there? It's kind of dark. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. You think, bud? I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Uh -huh. It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Enzo. Ah, me too. Oh god, who next? That is the dilemma. I'll, I'll do it in order of the what characters I want to do. So, this one, run through, is going to be Yuri. Next is Natsuki, then Sayori, then Monica. Or who knows, maybe I'll just like skip quite a few of the characters. Just go straight to Monica, I don't know. I'll probably do that because it's a lot easier than doing like multiple streams for each character. Husha, uh, Natsuki. Why not? Enzo, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What? <laughs> Harsh. What, do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Okay, then. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're so proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Exclamation points. Painful to think about? Sideways glance followed by three dots. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can fly, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Might wanna- might wa- Might wanna put a little bit more effort into that and maybe, I don't know. Very straight edge, like handwriting. Like, straight. Very, like, straight. It's not sharp, but it's straight, you know? Yeah. I told you that's what- that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because, everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But this but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. 
I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. Ah, I see. I'm obviously not well knowledged in the world of poetry. It helps bring out the feeling that feeling in the last line. So you did. Ah, uh, I didn't realize I could get rid of the box. That's that's kind of cool. I like that. I guess it went I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. Don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, I won't take that away from her. I need another drink. One second. Feeling that a little bit better, you know? Alright, Sayori's next. What? What voice did I give her again? This is a good poem, Enzo. I don't remember her voice, so I'm just gonna go. Are you sure this is your first time? Of course. It's not that good. I am the kind of guy who would be writing... <laughs> am I the kind of guy that would be writing poems in the spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it too seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you, you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. There, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Enzo. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I mean... Tell me that a lot of millionaires only make donations to large charities just because they want to donate to charities. I mean, as nice as it is to donate to charities, I'm just saying the tax breaks they get from that is pretty nice as well. Just saying. Just saying. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. She definitely doesn't. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. 
Yay. Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Ah, I bit my tongue. Ow. Ah. Ah. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. What's a secret? If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Yo, where's that toe so I can run outside and get isekai Where's that toast so I can have one corner of it hanging from my mouth as I run into the middle of a busy street? Uh, anyways. Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better, a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. The question is, did you eat the toast inside or did you run outside with the toast? I would assume you ate it inside since you're still here. You didn't get isekai'd yet. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. Ah, that was the worst voice I did this stream, I think. That was the worst one. I get all cranky. Why, the, why, why am I starting to sound like Juicy? F I know, I know most people who watch this probably won't get, know who Juicy is, but... Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. Yeah, you will. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Yes, you will. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. I don't know, maybe the only one left. Monica. Probably my second favorite. Gonna be honest, probably my second favorite. Hi, Enzo. Oh, I don't, I don't remember what voice I gave her either. Hi, Enzo. I, th I think it was that. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? Alright, well, keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring up, bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. 
Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Enzo. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Enzo. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's the easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I when I put in some effort. I I don't know what to say to that comment there. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, that Yuri, like... Why is it that Yuri? That Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Oh, you know that Yuri. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I'm just, I, I should finish what she says before I comment. Writing that's full of Im imagery and symbolism? Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of, their, all of the nuisances, nuances. I should learn how to read better. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has ought at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learning by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound... One second. Alright. Jeez. Oh, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's cause I have to- cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. Why do you have to feel confident? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, this is a longer one. Hole in a wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction spackle pr protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. 
I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, or he's scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole to infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. I'm gonna be honest, I remember a little bit from watching playthroughs of this game way back in 2017. I, I, I get the meaning behind this. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very... Freeform, if that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pr pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was that? In what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Because it's kind of coming out strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Feel. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, because that's exactly what's happening. This is high school, my guy. Everyone judges everyone because they want to feel better, but it usually just ends up making them feel worse unless their self-esteem is, is pretty high, in which case they usually won't judge other people. Sorry, what was I talking about? Anyway, it's as if everyone's judging me for mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're being nice, just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. But they don't like each other's style, don't they? Oh boy. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? 
It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? <laughs> you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't n come out nice. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Enzo did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Enzo liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Yo! This classroom is turning into Fight Club, let's go! Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yudi. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Enzo appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would, I would deliberately go on my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Shots fired. Oh my god. Uh, um. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who... I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger <laughs> or as soon as Enzo started showing up. Jesus. N Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. <laughs> exactly, though. Shots... Fired. Suddenly both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. See, this is where I'm probably gonna have to choose and I don't like it, but of course I'll choose Yuri. Of, of course I will. I'm sorry, but it's gonna happen. Enzo? Sh she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Said said like a true preschooler. I'm sorry, I had to make that comment. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Enzo. W wait There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effect effectively. 
Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Enzo? Um... Well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It was Sayori's fault, blame Sayori. It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. That's why I'm going with Yori. Like as much- Like as much as I like Natsuki, it's gotta be Yori just because I'm going with her this route. Natsuki. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not any excuse for you to be so mean. Okay, I'm glad he just didn't say like, Yo. Stop talking shit. You're- I just was being nice. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's- someone's opinion is different than you- is different. That's not what happened at all. Yori wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm. I understand. Yuri? Eh. You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. O well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Uh... But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! And was her that... Natsuki. I think that's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. Yo, she's about a brawl. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Ooh. Sayori, where are you when you're needed? Take her side, at least give her some night. At least give her some feeling. I don't know. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Uh, um. Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she's, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. No! It was a good poem, I just liked Yuri better. Like, you're a good character, but Yuri's just better than you. Let's just be honest. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Oh, well... Alright. I believe you. Thanks, Enzo. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. As much as I'm enjoying this, could this day please end in game? Like seriously, this is, my voice is gonna die. 
Anyways. But yeah, the, by the way, I think I already mentioned this, but... Uh... I will be ending stream after this day. Just saying. The streamlander. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So. Eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Excl exclamation point. Uh, um, well, never mind about that. I'm going to go make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for me. Make enough. Make enough for more than one person, okay? E yeah. Ah! Sorry, I accidentally hit the. the cord that's connecting my headphones to my mic. So you guys can hear the game on And I can hear it, so I can also hear it. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? Well, Natsuki feels like shit now, but... It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. And so... How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. The same as who? They all had different answers. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Dots. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I'll at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Enzo, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say that I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. Uh, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Enzo, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sayori still hadn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Surely being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? I'm gonna save here, cause I think it's like the end. We all just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. 
Sayori has now been demoted to internal monologue. Sorry if that was really loud. I have no clue how loud that was. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, that was me talking. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna overwrite the save. Alright, though. I had a lot of fun. That was fun. My voice may be a little bit dead, but that's fine. I'll deal with it. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys had fun. I certainly did. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time. Let me check something real quick. One, one, one second. Well, not that. I can't wait. I need more drama. Next, uh, I don't know when the next, uh, I, I really don't know when I'll stream Doki Doki next. I'll probably s stream it weekends. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time. I hope you did as well. And I shall see you whenever next time is. Peace.